Compassion, empowerment, respect, hope. The community has a wide variety of individuals who need services and Stepping Stone has been able to afford them with substance abuse, mental health, homelessness, um, domestic violence, um, HIV. We all want people to recover to the best of their ability. We give them a chance to find their real self here and express what they're about. Stepping Stone Incorporated's comprehensive programs protect and guide those in crisis to achieve independence and well-being. I think for myself and my team why we do the work we do is to aid and to help see the growth within our community members. There's nothing more gratifying or satisfying than seeing someone come through with certain struggles and watching them grow and blossom. The first way a community member can help is that they, they open up their mind to understanding that, you know what, people don't just want to be homeless and they don't want to struggle with mental illness or addiction. First, safety, nutrition, and warmth. Then, sobriety, housing, and employment. Recovery often begins at first step in, an emergency shelter unique because of wraparound services. Stepping Stone Incorporated receives funding through the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration of Massachusetts. Hello, peer-to-peer, -peer, Ginger speaking. Peer-to-peer -peer recovery started in Fall River in 2016. I truly believe in the therapeutic value of one person with addiction to another. Um, that's how it all started and that's how it seems to be now. That's why peer-to-peer -peer makes a lot of sense. From one struggling person to one who has struggled, to show them how to go to meetings, to, to get your life back on track, to not be lazy, to don't think that it's just going to come down on a silver platter, but to be guided every day, every step, to get back to where they want to be. And um, I'm very, very graced to be able to do that. My function in life is to help other people and I'm really grateful that I've changed my life around so that I can do that. Up to 20 support groups are held here each week. Ginger Petty is 17 years sober. I don't really want to be part of this. It's a humongous responsibility in the field of addiction to educate people about what it is so there's no social stigma involved. In 2018, Peer to Peer expanded to Dartmouth, Westport, Somerset, and Swansea. A life-threatening disease works outside of geographical boundaries. There was a gap in services with peer recovery support services with folks entering or exiting treatment, and they needed a safe, confidential, and supportive environment. sympathize I can understand where they're coming from because I've been there uh, and if I haven't been there I would direct them to someone that has been there uh, recovery is possible you know it's just getting them to have a little bit of hope planting a seed fair focused achievement in housing and recovery addresses all causes of chronic homelessness. More than 100 men and women each year are placed in permanent housing to re-engage in our community. Once a client comes in, um, outreach brings them in. Within 72 hours, they will meet with a mental health clinician and begin assessments. Through FAIR, children at last experience stability, as do youth at risk of homelessness. A number of landlords in Fall River and New Bedford are identified as willing to assist this fragile population. This integrated team is meant to really look at all the barriers that have caused that chronic homeless or that homeless situation, um, address the addiction, address the mental illness, and um, get them housed and keep them housed. Stepping Stone Incorporated is rolling out Project SOAR, supporting opioid addiction recovery. 
Laura Washington stresses that no one will be turned away, despite the inability to pay or lack of insurance. If you take someone with trauma issues who is recently in recovery or is needing to get into recovery and we're asking them to go to several different places for treatment, that's a very difficult thing to do. But when you have all of the services right on site, along with peer mentoring and outreach worker, it makes it very easy for that person. SOAR is the only program of its kind in southeastern Massachusetts. Service officers will counsel veterans who largely choose to ignore their own vulnerabilities. When they really do need help, they don't reach out. They think, I can do this on my own. I don't need anyone's help. I don't need to tell anyone that I'm dealing with these issues. Um, I don't need to discuss with anyone that I have these demons inside. And they go down that spiral. Army veteran Chris Keefe returned from Afghanistan in 2011 and self-medicated to cope with PTSD. Dysfunction in his life became nearly as deadly as the battlefield. I was in my house all day long. Um, consuming pills after pills and then uh, the sheriff came and evicted me from my apartment and it wasn't too long before I was on the street and um, I jumped from homeless shelter to homeless shelter. Um, I've stayed in all of them. I've curled up on doorsteps of businesses, um, begging for money on the streets, trying to get money in order to feed my habit. A specially trained management team is immediately available when a pregnant woman reaches out for treatment. This is a subpopulation that's very difficult to find treatment sometimes and also treat their trauma, treat their pregnancy, treat their addiction, and life skills training simultaneously. Here at SOAR, we're going to be able to meet those needs. SOAR is a treatment center to continue the process of recovery. Recovery doesn't happen in, in, in a few months, it doesn't happen in a few weeks. It takes time, and it takes effort, and it takes a will to continue. And SOAR is going to provide that, that aftercare of continued treatment and continued recovery. Co-occurring is a revolutionary, personalized way to tackle substance abuse. 542 North Main Street will open its doors to 16 clients for inpatient treatment where doctors and clinicians will collaborate for individualized care. There are medications that are available to those who continue to struggle with cravings and urges. Some of the medications that we commonly see our clients on consist of Suboxone, which helps with opioid addiction. We also have clients who have struggled with alcohol use and they may be prescribed the Vivitrol shot, Naltrexone, Campril, or Antibuse. It's not a cookie cutter system, it doesn't work that way. We have to treat every person as a unique person um, and think about what their options are and what their choices are and what it is that they want to accomplish while they're here in treatment. Merrill Johnston has resided at 522 North Main Street since April, where she is one of 28 females in the women's program. The Stepping Stone program saved my life because when I relapsed, I could never have believed how fast um, things started to spiral out of control. And if they had continued to go in the direction they were headed, um, I could have died. Merrill has worked hard to maintain sobriety. She is employed, has a supportive family, and feels empowered, due in part to the clarity she gains by attending three Alcoholics Anonymous meetings each day. You're in a room with people who understand, and, and, and there's still a stigma on the, in the outside. With alcohol, with smoking, with anything, there's a stigma. But finally, you can um, talk to people who aren't going to judge you. Unfortunately, Stepping Stone Incorporated, like many treatment centers, has a waiting list. I'm always striving um, to put the agency in a position that we have enough income to be able to provide all of the services and to acquire enough staff to help the people that are really out there in the community that need help. Stepping Stone Incorporated was founded in 1972 and is recognized nationally as a leader in behavioral health and homeless services. Stepping Stone Incorporated. 
building a strong foundation for recovery.